What is going on everybody, welcome back to Civilization 5 as Turkey on the Earth 2014 mod. It's been a f I've processed for a few turns, we've bought our first nuclear missile, a second one is about to finish being built. We have fixed our happiness by getting a new social policy, we've peaced out with everybody in the entire world, and India is now plotting against us which is lovely, so I think this is the perfect time to begin our war with Iraq. So I'm just going to move all my units back so they don't get don't get attacked by Iraq and then we're just going to slowly very slowly wear them down with some bombing. Boom. Okay, so it's going to take a little while. Yep. That was understandable. Actually, you know, it may not take too long. Can we No, there's no way we're getting this done in one turn. That would be awesome, but unlike I don't think this one's going to reach to be honest. Oh, oh, it can reach. Well, that was lovely and easy, <laughs> to say the least. I did not expect that. But anyway, let's vote Russia in again for world leader, because I think that's a good idea. Once we've got our nukes, by the way, I'm probably going to try and vote for... I do not want to vote for Japan. Um, yeah, let's keep Russia as world leader, because I'd rather have them than China. That's pretty big. That was really easy and quick. And that is a lot of oil for us, which is lovely. The eight oil tile. And we've got five oil left. Awesome. That was really quick. I can't believe that. Okay. Maybe we'll rethink our plan to ignore Egypt to our south. But anyway, that was insane. I can't believe that just happened. I was going to make a whole video about me invading in Iraq. And it didn't happen. It just it was just like that. But anyway... Two turns, we'll have our second nuclear missile. The other one is currently peacefully sat on this submarine in the Mediterranean. But yeah, India's got a lot of planes here. They're plotting against us, apparently, according to Indonesia. I can't remember who told me. But the big question is whether we... Whether we... Um, now we've got two nuclear missiles, or are going to have two, will they continue to do that? I doubt it. I mean, if we hit Mumbai and Delhi with our two nukes or Calcutta here 30 population then boom straight away that is a big blow for India and it's probably not worth it to them to go after us. Also Mexico has got the Manhattan Project up so watch out Donald Trump although he's probably not in charge at the moment it's probably still Obama by some weird reason yep Obama staying in. International Space Station is now complete again I didn't contribute at all oh and we captured their worker which I mean Let's just automate him. He can go if there's any improvements that do need being done. He can go get them done. And I mean, realistically, if our air force is that good now, we can definitely consider re going after Egypt in a little bit. But at the moment, we just gotta let the happiness recover. Um, this is a nice city. I would like another jet bomber. And proposal. Oh, okay. So nuclear non-proliferation. When it's actually voted in. China's angry. Who's going to be angry at us stopping the building of nukes? Come on, China. Is Russia going to be angry? Probably. Probably. He's going to be mad. But, I mean, if we can stop as many countries, smaller countries like Iran, maybe, from getting their own nuclear missiles, that would help before we go after them. You know, if we don't have to face... I don't know, but just everyone having less would be nice for the world. Let's do something good. We did some bad things, you know, the world was like, oh, yep, yeah, okay, Egypt has taken over Jerusalem. Uh, okay, we'll just have to live with it. Egypt, it's not the end of the world. And then, oh no, Turkey's bombing Egypt now, it's just a nightmare. Turkey are evil. We may have just got around that by, obviously, not taking out Baghdad. But I guess, potentially, who knows. But anyway, lots of stuff. Ottoman Empire kind of rebuilt. I guess technically we'd have to have Athens to fully rebuild the Ottoman Empire. And Alexandria and Suez, probably. And I mean, I guess the Ottomans did have this city as well, but that's pushing it, really. We'll see how far we get. But anyway, for now, I'm pretty happy with this. Three new cities in is this video seven. It's a very, very good start. So, 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 what now? We just wait. We could definitely just bomb Athens to the ground and move in, but I don't want to drop the happiness too much. 
Stay there. Nuclear missile again. Just put one on the missile cruiser as well, I guess. And then it's a wide range. And then if we spread those apart, if we are hit by a nuke, they're going to go for a city. Which means hopefully we won't lose either of them. Hmm. Spaceship factory. Would be pretty cool, I guess. Plus 50% production when building spaceship parts. I guess that would help, although we're not really... We can't build any spaceship parts yet. Fighter? No. Hmm. Rocket artillery. We don't really need anything else from that list. Leopard 2 tank? No, we should be okay. Hmm. hmm. What do we go for here? Do we just keep going for bombers? I mean, if we just keep building up the air force, if there's no good buildings to build, that'll be fine. The cities are actually starting to grow again, finally. We're still 41 turns from Jerusalem having a distribution network. But other than that, they're all starting to grow again. We did conduct a trade mission in Greece, and I've just noticed we've got more money to spend with a great merchant. But yes, we need to spend some more money reinvesting everything. Just keep Turkey flowing forward. And who knows what this world's going to look like. Argentina is still alive for now. They offered me this city in a peace deal for some reason. I didn't want it. It would just be too difficult to manage. But yeah, I mean, Iran is next, I guess. Iran or Egypt. Big border for us to deal with. When is this? I was, I was going to say I could let you choose. But no, the next video will be up before. Well, it will have to be recorded beforehand. Hmm. Well, anyway, <laughs> on that note, so Greece, who do we border? So we border Russia to the north, Ukraine, Greece, I don't want to get any nearer to Russia, Greece, Morocco, Italy, Libya, technically Senegal <laughs> by these two tiles, Egypt, and then also. Persia, Iran. So, so that's a six jet bombers and two nuclear missiles. Where are we at in the demographics? That is always an important thing to have a look at. GMP sixth soldiers. We have now got the fourth largest military in the world, which is insane because we are Turkey. I presume the USA is number one. I presume Russia and China are the other two. But India may be there. We don't know. No info addicts. Land, 10. 10th in the world. That's pretty good. 970,000, which is below average, but then Russia drags that average up quite high. 18th in approval. We're pretty low, but as long as we're happy, that's fine. 13th population, 11 million. Again, that's below average. Crop yield, we're above average. 209 million bushels. And GMP, we are 6th with an, again, above average economy. So, lovely jubbly. Iran now has the Manhattan Project, so we really could do with the Co World Congress pushing forward our idea. How are we moving up score-wise? Wait, I just peaced out with Argentina. Did I not? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, uh, okay, so Turkey, where are we? Oh, we're at the top, 565, so we're behind Germany, very close to the UK now. And France, which is good. Germany's a little bit ahead. Brazil now. Germany is afraid, and so is France. And so is Indonesia. Why are people afraid of us? I presume it's because they don't have nukes. I mean, France do, so... Don't know why France would be afraid of us, other than the fact we have a lot more cities than they do. I mean, they have four. If you include South America, we have six, seven... Seven now, so I mean, we have quite a lot of cities, I guess. So that's good news. One aluminium, not uranium left, three oil left, two coal. But obviously, having that oil from Baghdad is lovely. I'm not sure which Egyptian city we'll go for first. I mean, it's probably going to be a case of I'm thinking going for Tabuk first, this one in the Arabian Peninsula. Take this one first, because it's the lowest. Oh, it was the lowest. It's now quite high. City defense. Okay, Chennai. Okay, I, I want to get rid of these caravans, actually. So, delete. Boom. Caravan, again, delete. Because cargo ships bring in a lot more money. 
and then here we go Izmir purchase cargo ship and another cargo ship boom there we go so that is gonna bring in some more money next turn again we've got 2,000 gold I keep forgetting to spend it I'm gonna spend it in Jerusalem and Tripoli because they're both pretty bad cities and maybe Baghdad as well they're all pretty bad at the moment Tripoli is slowly improving luckily so there we go factory they're gonna be gonna be a factory there in eight turns which will boost the production quite considerably research agreement good for you India but I don't want it <coughs> And what else is going on? What else is going to happen? Stuff, probably. Hmm. All this free mechanized infantry in Africa is going to be super helpful. I mean, African cities are pretty strong. I mean, we could just go straight through Africa when you think about it and just take them up, take out Africa, but I don't. Uh, they, other than like one two there's a few good cities down here obviously you don't want to mess with south africa here we're getting really far south i mean here's seven population but it's in the middle of the desert four oil is all you're going to get for taking that uranium here though in nigeria okay cargo ship london 29 gold lovely that was the highest option for the caravan was about 15 so you know that's extra gold again delete this caravan and purchase a cargo ship you can't purchase cargo ships there my bad purchase a cargo ship and then what else should we buy for Jerusalem hmm how can we boost that production a factory yep go for that and there we go that distribution network just got cut down quite quickly we do need to think start thinking about happiness again so as a result we'll just buy a zoo in Tripoli, that will boost the happiness up to four, positive four, new cargo ship, another 29 gold per turn, will take us to the plus 200s in terms of gold per turn, which will be lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly, anyway, which Egyptian city first, because it's going to be slow, we'll probably have to go two at a time, two separate wars, I'm thinking, so do we want to go Alexandria and Cairo? Alexandria and Su Su Suez? Suez? Where do we want to go first? Where do we want... What, I mean, Alexandria and Cairo would probably give us the most land. Like, straight up, we'd control most of this. And there'd just be a little bit here left of Suez. Tabuk would probably obviously comes with a lot of oil though to buck but then it also puts us on the front line with India which I don't want straight away so I think yeah I think it's got to be Alexandria and Cairo they're the biggest two kind of Suez would be nice but I mean it's not going to be too useful because India is still here anyway blocking off what we can get through and there is a lot there's a nuclear missile over here from India world ideology order well that is not going to get voted in and nuclear non-proliferation as well and there we go that is going to go to south korea to bring in 36 gold per turn look at that plus 227 gold per turn lovely jubbly lots of money for turkey we're building another jet bomber is about to be done two jet bombers about to be done in the next two turns four turns for a mechanized factory in ankara five turns for a factory in tripoli 11 turns till the courthouse in Baghdad, 14 for the distribution network in Jerusalem, so we're going to see the population just grow back again here. Izmir, 10 turns to the recycling centre for another aluminium. We've got one more oil left, so I'll probably go for one more jet bomber and then we'll leave it at that. I mean, I, I, unless we're going to go for more boats. You'll pay for this in time. Good one. Russia hasn't done anything, they denounced us, but looks like we're safe. I do not want a war with Brazil. But yeah, hopefully we can get that nuclear non-proliferation before Brazil, before Iran, in particular, who just completed the Manhattan Project, start getting their nukes up. That'd be really nice. <clears throat> just waiting. Just wait quietly for this to happen. There's a lot of oil up here. Russia just ignoring. Four up there in the middle of the sea. 
I've got to say, I am preferring coming back to Civ 5 than Civ 6. Like, I'm going to go back to Civ 6 and give it another go, probably in the new year. But I'm loving Civ 5 a lot more. And it's, you know, when I was playing Civ 6, I was considering, like, am I going to keep doing Civ? What, what am I going to do with my channel? But now I'm at Civ 5, I'm just considering what Civ 5 I want to do next. So it's kind of... We know where this channel is. It's enjoying Civ 5, not enjoying Civ 6 so much. For I don't know why, really. It's just got that feeling that I don't like. And I mean, I'm really enjoying this. So if Mexico get nukes, I want to see Mexico fight in America. Come on, Mexico. You can do it. But anyway. Anyway. This is pretty pretty good. Baghdad is ours. <laughs> Just thinking about Egypt and what to do really. I mean Iran is there as an option as well. But I guess if we went after Iran the world would like us a bit more. Maybe. Who knows. We're four turns from getting drones as well I just noticed which is pretty cool. Happiness just went up to five. We're still way away from getting a new ideological tenant 15 turns tourism isn't too good faith we can't do anything with unless we take mecca which isn't going to happen india got that on lockdown so yeah let's just wait and see what goes down this china have not been aggressive as aggressive as my china we had turned 74 i think we were in a war with india by now Although that may be exaggerating it a little bit no, I don't want to rebase you, just sleep there. So that's one, four, seven, eight jet bombers now with one more to come. Oh, and we can build another one. Lovely. If we can just keep building them, we can just bomb cities to the ground, which will be lovely. I can't believe we took Baghdad in one turn. Just goodbye, Iraq. Off the map. Done. Lovely. Everything going well. Not too much is going on, so I'm going to end this video a little bit early. My voice is starting to hurt, but thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. Lots more to come from this campaign with Egypt in our sights now. So, as always, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. I said it again. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.